Welcome back to another episode of the Blackpool career mode here on FIFA 22. I got a really interesting comment on episode 10, which was the final episode of season 2, about selling everyone with an overall higher than 74 as they believed they'd be too good for the championship. Now, whilst I'm just going to be straight up and say I won't be doing that, I have thought of a good reason why I could do that. As you guys know, we've got like no money at all. So I have decided that come January, if we still have no money at all, then I will sell a player, maybe two, and I will sell one of the players that are 75 rated and over. And at the moment, I'm not going to include Bellini and Diallo in that because they've only been signed this season. But that means that potentially one of Cecamani, Blanco or Darman or anyone else that potentially hits 75 overall, so maybe Castro, Timber, Bergzorg, they could be sold in January if our finances don't improve. Anyway, enough waffling, let's get into some game action, shall we? First up, we travel to Hillsborough to take on Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday with the first attack of the game is Windass out to Brown. Brown tries to get it into So. It deflects off Bellini, headed by Patterson. Great save from Darman and cleared away by Bellini. That was a fantastic save from Darman to keep us in it. And he makes another one as well as he saves the shot there in the eighth minute. It's the 11th minute and Timber plays the ball forward to Diallo. Gelhart is in the box and his header is saved by Jackson. We've got Blanco taking the corner. It's whipped in towards Bellini who gets the header and gives us the lead. 1-0 to Blackpool. We're into added time in the first half and so plays the ball through to Windass. He plays it out wide to Brown. Brown's cross in. Castro heads away but it's just going to drop for So again. He gives it to Hunt. Back to So, So inside to Adeniran and So gets his shot away, saved by the feet of Finn Darman and it's half time. And in fact it is now full time because absolutely nothing happened in the second half. Preston at home and we're going to simulate it, I know, I know it's a big derby and it's, I'm annoyed at myself for simulating this but it was a midweek game and I've got to simulate one. And we come away with the win at least 2-1 with Callum Connolly and Brandon Barker getting the goals for Blackpool. Very wet and windy day here at Bloomfield Road as we take on West Brom. Fourth minute and Alex Mowat is standing over a free kick for West Brom. He has a go, he has dip, but it doesn't dip far enough and it goes over. Now we've got a free kick of our own and surely Blanco isn't going to have a shot from there. No, of course he's not. He puts it into the box where Borges wins the header and Johnston pushes it away. Into the 62nd minute and we start off with Castro winning a tackle, Bellini passing it forward to Borges and now this is Antonio Blanco and instead of looking for the pass like he normally does, he's just going to run through the entire defence and Borges is making a run alongside him and Borges is the one who puts it into the back of the net and in the 65th minute we lead West Brom by one goal to nil. And now the same thing is about to happen for West Brom as their creative midfielder Alex Moat decides to go on a run. He gets past Bellini with absolute ease and unleashes a shot. Luckily Darman is there to tip it wide. 85th minute and Timber on the ball passing it to Barbosa and West Brom have got so many numbers up that Joe Gelhart is in behind and surely he's going to finish this off. Yes he is. Joe Gelhart finally, finally scores a goal. For Blackpool. It's been a long time coming but he's finally got it and his goal has earned us a 2-0 win over West Bromwich Albion. Bristol City away. We start off in the 11th minute with Bergsall going on a bit of a run. He cuts inside onto his right foot, curls one just wide of the post. And now we have Bergsorg again just on the ball. This time he decides to switch the ball out to Ahmad Diallo. Brings it down on his chest, flicks it up, volleys! Oh my days, are you kidding me? And now Bristol City are the ones coming forward with Pearson, giving it to O'Dowda, back to Pearson again. Going back inside to O'Dowda, who drills one low, and Darman's outstretched arm puts it wide. 37th minute, and we have a corner whipped in by Blanco. Bellini can't quite win the header. Uh, Borges now has it. Borges looking for someone to pass it to. Bergsorg with a shot, it's blocked. He chests it down and pulls the trigger again, and he's just, just put it over the bar. Into the second half, and the 51st minute, Blanco plays it forward to Borges, waits for the run from Gelhart, times it perfectly, Gelhart puts it into the bottom corner and he is flowing now isn't he with the goals, one in the last game, one in this game and he's put us 1-0 up at Bristol City. 
Will that open the floodgates now? Timber playing it forward to Gelhart. Gelhart to Bergzog. Back inside to Gelhart. Has a shot saved by Bentley, but Timber with the scorpion kick rebound goal gives us a second. And that is not what I was expecting from the captain. We're into the 72nd minute now, and Amad Diallo, who's playing out on the left-hand side, playing it inside to ball, gets shot, blocked, but Bosa! And that is a brilliant save from Dan Bentley, to be fair to him. Yeah, Bristol City scored this goal right at the end, but it doesn't really matter because we still won. Yay! Now, you guys might well enjoy this live portion of the episode. Why does that keep appearing up? Because I am not in the greatest of moods right now. And the reason for that is because I'm a total idiot and started off my day by falling down the stairs, which is always fun. But anyway, hopefully that doesn't affect the performance of the team. We've got four games in this month and I am unable to use the controller properly for some reason, but we've got Ipswich, Stoke, Reading and Portsmouth all in this second half of the episode. We currently sit fourth in the league, but we have played a game less than everyone because this game against Ipswich is on a Sunday. So uh, most other teams played on the Saturday. Uh, Ipswich currently in 21st place, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a decent result in this game. If we win, we go level on points with Brentford at the top of the league. So I guess let's just get straight into it, shall we then? We're at home and we're playing Ipswich. Now, at the start of this episode, there was the title update happened, which introduced changes to the gameplay. And then now, in between me recording that last night and now me recording this bit today, there's been another live tuning gameplay update. So hopefully, not a lot's changed in between them. But if I bet a lot has changed, hasn't it? You watch. Oh, this isn't good. No, no, learn. It's one nil to Ipswich Town. That is the first shot of the whole game in the 31st minute. And it's Ipswich who get a goal from it. Of course they do. Of course they do. We've barely been able to get out of our own half. It's been such a midfield battle. It's been ridiculous. Simpson. And it's through for Carroll. Nolan, the goal scorer. And Burns has put it wide to the post. And our defence just seem nowhere right now. I feel like... I've said this many times before. I feel like I'm playing online right now. I feel like there's latency. I feel like I'm on like one bar. That's what it feels like. It, it, it's like there's a delay between... Me pressing the button and the thing actually happening. Or everything just feels really slow and just sluggish and horrible. I might have to give the game a restart after this. Because I feel like it's something that... I don't know if this is true, but I feel like it's something that happens if you open the game too quickly, if you get what I mean. But anyway, we, we really need to switch things up because this is just rubbish. This is possibly the worst performance we've ever had so far in this series. Castro keeps it in. Bergzorg to Blanco. To Barbosa. He's going to have a hit and it's wide. Lorenz, good chest down there. Oh, it's well played. And Chaplin has somehow put that wide. We've given a foul away somewhere as well. I don't know where, but, you know, if, if Chaplin had done anything other than put that wide, they would have either scored or they would have had a free kick. Right, here we go. Here comes Barbosa. He's got no one in support because he's the right striker and he's found himself on the left. He's got Edwards chasing. That's a great ball. Great ball. Are you joking me? Ah, that was the worst performance ever, 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 ever by any team I've ever used ever in a career mode ever. Oh, and just to rub it in, Nathan Patterson's out for four weeks as well. Oh, lovely. Let's let's try this, right? Watch how slow it moves over. Watch it. There's latency. Close game. Honestly, that was terrible. We better not have a performance like that in this game because if we do, oh my god, I'm going to lose my marbles his ball guess he hasn't really got anywhere to go at the moment he can put it over the top and well try and put it over the top oh big saw stolen it off smith oh that second touch was horrible but he's got plenty of support in the box davis saves it but he mm -hmm. oh you're kidding me who was offside there was it gelhart or was it diallo oh you're not even gonna show me you're not even gonna show me clearly neither of them were offside then they're not even showing me a replay of who was offside anyway here's big Zorg again and this time he crosses it in, and we've put it over again. Well, not again, but first time. But we haven't put it in. Come on, Borges, get in there. Yes, Borges. Yes, but God damn it, Davis. Win that. Thank goodness for that. Get win that. Yes, Gelhart. Nice. Right, someone run. Someone run. Diallo's making that run. Great ball from Borges. Diallo is through. Surely he can't miss this one, and he has. He actually has. Oh, Ahmad. Ahmad. Amad, mate. Amad. 
Listen here, right? The goal is to the right. All right, let's spread it out wide. To... How is he injured? Oh, I bet Borges is straight offside, hasn't he? He has. Flip sake, man. Hey, you what? Hold up. Yeah, okay. Okay, he was offside. But Jesus Christ, that line was in completely the wrong place. Let's try and get this forward for one last attempt at an attack in this half. Yes, Borges. Yes, Borges. That's a brilliant touch. He's going to have to take a shot from far out, isn't he? Yep, and Davis is going to save it. Whoever that defender was was catching him up real quick. Win that, win that, win that. Yes, Timber. Nice. Win that, Gelhart. Yes. Lovely stuff. Here we go. Here we go. Counter-attack time. Nope. That first touch was god-awful. Yep. Nope. Oh, just to pass it up. You're coming off, Mr. Bergsorg. You are coming off this pitch. You've had an absolute shocker. And now Stoker threw on goal. Luckily, Chekamani exists. Let's have a go with Timber. Nope, saved by Davis. I'm just, um, I'm not happy right now. I'm really not happy. Come on, Diallo. Yes, come on, Diallo. There's absolutely no one with him. Absolutely no one. He's done well to get past that defender. Oh, that was a great cross. That was a brilliant cross. It's just a shame that it just couldn't be won. That's a great ball through. Yates! Jerry Yates! Get in! Yes! <laughs> in the third minute of two I did Cherry H the substitute comes up with an absolute I don't even know what to describe it as because it wasn't the greatest goal in the world <laughs> but he's won it for us he's absolutely won it for us great ball from Ahmad Diallo and Yates I mean that in the patch notes should have been fixed it literally said that was fixed in the patch notes but whatever i don't care when i say that i mean literally davis diving under the ball that was straight at him but i don't care i don't care we've beaten stoke we've beaten stoke yes right so it's been about half an hour since the last clip you watched and to be honest with you the events of the last half an hour have got me even more annoyed and pissed off so we've got reading at home i'm gonna simulate this game with the second team so fingers crossed Fingers crossed. Yeah, there we go. Brandon Barker, Jerry Yates got sent off. As did Kamara for Reading. Connolly. I'll tell you what, Callum Connolly seems to score in every single simulated game. It's ridiculous. Oh, and this freaking email. Piss off. I'm not even answering that. Here we go then. Final game of this episode. We've got Portsmouth at home at Bloomfield Road. So let's uh, let's see if we can win and end this episode on a high. Stewart inside to Harness, who goes inside to Harrison, who has the quickest feet in the universe, apparently. But luckily, whoever that was who had that shot just hit it straight at Darman. Here's Morel for Portsmouth into Harrison. And Darman, with his outstretched arm, makes the save and puts it wide. What is this game trying to do to me today? In fact, what is everything trying to do to me today? I feel like everything's going out of its way to try and piss me off. Including this game. I'm just going to casually, uh, you know, just, uh, just give me a minute. Here's Quinton Timber. He's got like so many blue shirts in front of him. That's a penalty. Thank you very much. Kevin Stewart has just given away a penalty. You're not playing for Blackpool no more, mate. No, my luck today. I won't score this. And I have. Thank goodness for that. Joe Gelhart levels it up. Honestly, my brain is just all the way over there right now. Oh my god. What are you doing? What was that? That was like, that was like three bars of power and you just chip it up in front of you. Nice play from Bergsorg. Here we go. Here we go. Gelhart's just decided not to bother until now. That's a great ball from Bergsorg. Oh, Bazunu makes the save. How has he saved that? Bergsorg. Inside. That was a terrible, terrible pass. Timber's got it though. And he plays through. Joe Gelhart. There we go. Gelhart gets his second of the game and we... From 1-0 down, we go 2-1 up. Come on! Marquis into harness. Oh, get it away. We need to get the win. Here we go. Let's let's go on one last attack. Why not, eh? Try and send the ball over the top for Dunlop. It's caused a bit of cause a few problems. Ugh, he's not gonna get there, but it's fine. Yes! We win again! We've somehow managed to get three wins out of four in this live portion of the episode. I don't know how, because. I have not been feeling it. I'm so stupid. I've just signed two youth players. Why did I sign them? It just leaves me with even less money now. 
<laughs> Look at this. What hasn't gone, however, is our hopes of promotion. We're now only one point behind West Brom, who are now in first place. Level with Brentford. We're in third place. And us four at the top, West Brom, Brentford, Bournemouth and ourselves, have sort of broken away from your Coventry's and your Birmingham's and your Barnsley's. That's looking good, isn't it? We're fighting at the top for sure. And I've just remembered I forgot to get a screenshot for the thumbnail. Ugh. But anyways, guys, that is going to end off this episode of the Blackpool career mode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. And if you don't want to miss a video, hit that little bell that's next to the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I upload. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. Peace.